All right, let's begin this. Check my mic is working. It is awesome. Music seems a bit low. Let's get that up a bit. Good Tuesday evening to you all. I'm feeling a little bit better tonight. I, I just, I've had a really kind of dodgy kind of stomach the past couple of days, so I've been putting it off, um, drinking and stuff, so. Uh, oh, something's strange in my voice. Hang on, let me disconnect. Oh, it's clipping. How about no? It's clipping still. How about now? I think that should be all right. I think it was just clipping before. Good now. Okay, yeah. So obviously, I can't have my mic on full volume, or else it, or else it breaks. <laughs> Microphone driven by Basic Ten. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a lot better now. I, I think I just needed a weekend where I wasn't wasn't drinking and stuff. So it's good. Oh, thanks for spamming the merch link already, Andy. Cool. Um, yeah. So if you want a t-shirt with the spiral on it, um, or a or a hoodie or a a mug, you can uh, you can check that link and grab one there. All proceeds. Um, which isn't very much. Streamlabs get well. I'm guessing the merchant company behind behind the um, behind the t-shirts and sort of gets most of it. Uh, but what, whatever else we get goes back into the stream as well. So, uh, um, they just ship the merch to Spain and leave it there. Yeah, I don't know why you haven't got yours. So, uh, Gray's got his shirt as well. Awesome. Hope you're all doing better than us. Oh no, fire sprites. No, you not had the best of luck, have you, with the uh, with the with the old COVID nineteen? So, hope you hope you uh get out soon and uh, get to stretch your legs again. Um, I mean to be honest, I've I've not been out for months. I may as well be in self isolation. Um, okay, so tonight we're going to do um, a bit of mapping, um, and we'll we'll have a chat about uh, the basic stuff as well. I think a little bit. Um, let me just give everybody points. There we go. And start the races for you guys. Hey, Zappy. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on the ball tonight. I'm on the ball. I'm going to screw it up by drinking some Bacardi Mojitos. I've only got two of them, though, so I'm not expecting to, to have a hangover or anything. I'm just going to take it easy. I think even this weekend I might I might just stick to, uh, like, half a bottle of wine or something like that. Ooh, look at, look at Sean with, with some retro knowledge there. Uh, I mean, it's not what this is, but it's, uh, it is panic in the bank, isn't it? <laughs> uh, oh, Sean type rampage too, because SP type rampage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just realized. <laughs> I just realized. I thought you were being smart. I thought you'd been revising or something. So, regarding the uh, the basic stuff, from what I've seen so far, people are managing to get a little bit further with it now. Um, I don't think there's any real need to change the um, to change the parameters of the of the challenge at all because I think people are managing to do it. It's just a bit slow and painful. Um, but it, as I say, if you are struggling, just pick the simplest game. It really does, it can be it can be something super super simple. Um, no, don't stress yourself out. I mean, it could be a text adventure. It could be anything. You don't even have to do a graphical game. It could be a text adventure. Um. All right. So let's just take a look at this. Okay, I wanted to put another another 
block here because I was trying this out earlier. Um, actually, no, I'm just going to do one. And I don't, forgot to put this block here. So once I got down here, I got stuck. I couldn't get back. Um, so certain things. Okay, that's fine when that disappears. That's fine. Um, but I th I think people are yeah a bit slow and painful just like basic itself. No, I, I have to agree. And the thing is, is um, unfortunately because of licensing issues, we're stuck on that ROM. I can't I can't host something like this using the latest closed ROMs. Is it still a bit? Let me just mark it up better slightly. There we go. I don't know why my mic's being funny. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 50, you have five guesses. I mean, technically it counts. Yeah, Hangman, Hangman could work. It's, yeah, I mean, it, it's just, you know, just do your best with it. The, the whole point of this challenge was really not to uh, to create a competition, but was to encourage you to kind of explore the the emulator a little bit uh, explore basic and the documentation a little bit um and just to kind of get get a feel for the machine uh, we will be doing another um a, another emulator challenge in the in the near future but it will probably be um assembly instead um so i know uh twilight i think from excess has been doing some stuff so he's uh, been in the channel quite a bit um, and has been doing some stuff with the emulator and it's capable of doing some demo like things anyway. So um, we may do, we may just do uh, a challenge on that in the, in the near future. Uh, the next challenge will be an optimization challenge though. So the March challenge will be another, another spiral, but not a spiral. It'll be something else. Uh, that will be on the C64. The first thing with the basic you learn is post zero comma sixty five. Yes, that's um, uh, that's a very good point actually. Is that and I should have probably mentioned that if you aren't already doing that, <laughs> please do that first. So poke zero comma sixty five will give you the forty megahertz mode, and will make a hell of a difference. Um, without it, you're going to be you're going to be running at three and a half megahertz mode, which is going to be ten times slower, well more than ten times slower. I did mention that. Already. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, emulate before you have the next board. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping by the end of the year we can get another ten ten people or so with the Nexus boards. Um, and enough interest from everybody else that, that there's a real kind of demand for it. So, <laughs> no, unfortunately not. No, no, it's it's a weird. It's like a secret. Um, well, not secret. It's like a hard coded knock value. So it doesn't actually set the value to sixty five. It just it just causes the the CPU to jump into that, that um, mode. Oh, thank you for the resub, by the way, SP. I missed that. Thank you very much. Um, cheers. All right, let's uh, let's crack on with the mapping. So I need to grab uh, the original map as well. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to uh, to sharing the. Um, The artwork with you guys in the near future when when jamie i uh, like i said i'm gonna leave it up to um jamie to to do the um the announcement the, the pre-order announcement which will probably have the uh the artwork in it then uh but then when that's done um we, i might do some um i might do some t-shirts uh dot cosmos t-shirts as well because that it is a really really cool artwork. I think it's awesome. Can't wait for you guys to see it. Uh... 
That was the wrong map. God damn it. I knew I'd get the wrong one. It's that one, isn't it? There we go. Uh, thank you very much for the bits, I'm up. Appreciate it. Cheers. Hope you enjoyed the cartridges as well. Um, they're a bit of a labour of love them for me as well. So I uh, hope you enjoyed them. Uh, actually, they weren't that. It wasn't that bad. It took me maybe about um, forty-five minutes or so to build the to build the cartridge boards. Um, there, there's quite a lot of components that go on them, so it does take a little bit of time to do them. Um, Edit a special places new sprite. Here we go. So I, I do this because it helps me stick a grid on. I should save this out so I don't have to keep doing this. So it's 320 and not 200 minus 3, so 176. And that's kind of close enough. Oops. Let's just nudge it up a little bit. There we go. That's close enough for me to be able to work out what I'm doing. I'm going to put that up there so I can see it on that screen. Uh, actually, no, I'll, I'll keep it down here so you guys can see it when I do the comparisons. Um, thanks, Rice Rates, for the, the bits. Appreciated. Uh, what do I think about old school, a modern, modern game dev, but old school presentation, i.e., Unity? Um, I'm. I, I I like some of it, but I think it's some of it's kind of overdone. Um, so, uh, for instance, um, there's there's too many pixel art games that kind of look the same and feel the same and aren't really bringing anything new to the the genre. Um, they're all just kind of rehashes of the same platformer game. There, there's not really anything. New. There's a couple that do invent outside the box, but. Um, I think if you're going to do a game like that, it needs to be unique. You either need an IP that that nobody's done before, um, you know, like a, your own IP or something, um, or you need um, you need a unique hook, something that which which makes it stand out. Uh, otherwise, um, I mean, there's there's plenty of good games out there. They just get lost in the in the um, in the sea of other games. So. Do I think Broforce could be done on the Mega Sixty Five? That's the um, side on shooting game, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah, definitely, definitely. I think the the Mega Sixty Five can pretty much do anything that you see done pixel art at the moment. I think could already could be done on the Mega Sixty Five. And the thing is, I think it works more on the Mega Sixty Five because um, it's it is a retro machine. There's something about running these things on a retro machine. Running them on a Windows machine when you when you've got a game that's loaded into Steam, um, it's competing with all the other games on Steam. So, um, so yeah, my my answer is it it kind of depends on the game. I think there's there's definitely a place for um, old school games done with modern modern dev things, uh, but it just has to be right in order in order for it to do well. I think it's it's a hard market to to break. Um, but if you're just doing it for fun, then you know, go ahead. I mean, I've I've done I've done modern style um, games with a retro kind of theme um, for fun myself. I but I know I'm never going to get anywhere with them. Um, actually, I know what you're asking. You you've been doing. <laughs> I hope I haven't put you off there. I know Cities Ends. Uh, yeah, I was going to say I've I've seen some videos you've been doing of. Um, this, but you see, this this is the thing. You're doing something based on your own IP, and I think that's good. I think that's good. You're not doing. You're not just copying the the, the cookie cutter kind of. Um, yeah, you're you're doing your own thing with it. That's what that's what I think is good. That's how it should be. Uh, if you, if you start doing, um, if you start just copying other games, then then you're gonna run into problems trying to trying to get uh, sales or, or just well trying to get anywhere with it. Uh, okay, right, let's get this section in here. Okay, so there's a bit here with two doors and a blue key. Uh, and then there's this bit over here. So I think 
can probably make this this piece here. So we can do this in two screens. And then this can be our, our, our section here, which lines up nicely with this. We might need to extend this actually a little bit to the side. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So again, we're just going to map things out without the, the background pieces in first. Uh, and then work those out later. So, so let's just build, let's just make sure I've got the right tile sets. Yep, okay. Uh, this should morph between bricks and this. I'm just going to do, and we'll build the, we'll build the join between those soon. Uh, okay, so this kind of goes along here. And then up platform. That can kind of join onto the bottom of here. Which I'm going to make a bit higher. Hmm. Um. Yeah, so this probably needs to extend this way instead. Uh, we might need to do some work around that. So that's this piece here, which is basically the end of the game. So when we get to the end of the game, I need to I need to work out where it needs to go. It might be that this needs reworking a little bit because the idea of this area here is that it's a it's a kind of trap almost. You've got to pick one of three directions here. Um, now what I'm going to do. Could okay, so it could be like this, in which case there'd be two doors here. Okay, let's make that down there like that. Because this is a bit where there's a blue key hidden here as well. So this would be the trap, would be like this. You can see there's not quite enough room to do this. So I might it's supposed to be three holes and you pick the wrong one and you and you die. So I might have to change this up a little bit. Like so might be enough to get up there actually so let's try making this a bit higher let's make that higher instead uh, oh, let's kind of stay like that Uh, no, that needs to be, that does need to be free there. What I'm trying to avoid is a situation where you've got a block at the top like that. Which is a bit, a bit of painful. I think this is one of the reasons I'm excited about the Mega is because it does give the opportunity to do these kind of um, pixel games, but in a, in a way that they they feel new and fresh again. They're not kind of not the same same old same old, but something new and fresh. 
we might have to adjust this slightly. I think because there's a red key here, but we need to put a blue key here. So we might have to do a little test to see if we can get up there or not. Um, I feel like there might be an issue getting, getting to that. Uh, there's a ladder in this bit, so that's fine. See, this is this piece here, so that would be kind of like. That kind of works. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some gonna have to do some testing of jump heights and stuff around this. Because I'm not sure about how this is gonna work. And then at this point here, you're kind of in a new section. Uh and from this point on I'm gonna I'm gonna start splitting the screens up into slightly larger areas. Uh, so it's gonna start diverging a little bit more at this point, I think. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, so let's, let's do a little test around this area here. So what I want to know, uh, well, let's put some keys in and stuff. So I want to know if I can get up to here. I have a funny feeling I'm not going to be able to. Uh, so I'm going to make that a little bit higher, actually. I have a feeling that jump is going to be impossible. Um, and I, I'm not sure how to deal with that. Um, I mean, there's, there's that kind of technique to put another slightly lower step down here. Let's see what happens. I have a feeling that's going to be an impossible jump to do. Uh, let's put some keys in so we've actually got some going to need we're going to need a red key i'm going to start on this screen Yeah, you you all need to use the the same version. Um, so, the the reason for that is is a couple of reasons. First of all, um, there are licensing issues for using any of the kind of the, the the modern versions, and by modern I mean the stuff that the closed ROM guys have been working on. Um, so so we can't use them. Unfortunately, uh, that means that the the basic version is going to be a bit buggier, quite a bit buggier. Because uh, they've done quite a lot of work on fixing that, um, and secondly, just to make sure that everybody's on the same uh, same page, um, uh, so that when I when I kind of look through these games, I, I'm not having to load a different ROM in every time. So that that's the ROM that um, that is the the common one that they tell you to use when you first get the the Mega sixty five before they started updating the ROMs. Um, so so that'll be the one that. Uh, that everybody's using. Uh, modern is probably not. No, they, they, what they've done is they've kept the same um, same numbering. Uh, they're just advancing it like that's a version number now. So it's on like nine one one zero four five or something like. That. I don't know what it's on at the moment, but or nine two. I think they might have advanced the the year on by one, but um, yeah, it is a date code effectively in the originals, but it is they, they they've not kept entirely with that they i think they wanted to keep it um uh keep it looking similar for some reason i'm not i, I couldn't tell the exact reason behind it so but eventually it's going to be changed anyway for an open rom the open rom will be um 
uh, for screen is the open run will be uh, completely license free, uh, which is what they're working on trying to do. But obviously, that's going to take a lot longer to to get ready. So, what's the start screen? Okay, start screen at eleven. So that obviously needs to change. That's going to be. That's going to be like here, isn't it? 11, 13, 14. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So it's plus 8. So 27. So if we add, if we go to 28, that's probably the right screen to start on. <laughs> I'm glad to, I'm glad you've you've taken to it. That was kind of the aim was to to make sure we had a a competition that would inspire people to use the the system and I think that's kind of worked. Oh shit, okay. Okay, so so that's got the right type of jump there because that jump's important to to gatekeep this this oh shit, I've just run out of power, haven't I? Fuck. All right, let me let me put a temporary terminal there just so I, so I can test things. Okay, so it should be a terminal over here now. Okay, cool. Now, above that, is there any hard ceiling? Yeah, so there's a hard ceiling here, which is no good. We don't want that. Um, which is what I'm trying to avoid, hard ceilings directly directly above the area. So that fixes that issue. So that when you jump up, you can kind of get a quick glimpse into your screen, although you're not going to see very much because you don't get enough time. Okay, and you can't jump. So you have to use the to use that jump. See, I'm not sure about that. Hmm. Okay. See, already that feels feels bad. Um. Oh, God damn it. Maybe I need to move this down a little bit or something. Let's try moving that down. Okay, so. Oops. Oh, I've got to do it like this. Damn it. It's because it uses a weird buffer to do the copy, so. Okay, that brings this down a bit, which means I can actually put solid roof in here now. That jump should still be possible the same way. Change that. Uh, is that going to land me up there? Yeah, it is. Okay. Which means that doesn't need to be quite so far. Just 
trying to think if I put that in that top corner. Let's try that out. It's actually harder than it looks to get this working on, on a small screen. Although I don't know how hard we, hard it looks to you guys, but it's definitely harder than I thought it was going to be. See, now that doesn't reach. So I feel like this needs to be extended over a little bit. Because this roof is in the way now, so now I need to move that over. Okay. Is it is that one? No, it's not that one, is it? That one? No. Why is that without anything on top of it? Seriously? What's that? I can see it here. Was there? There we go. <laughs> it's over the classic game. Right, okay, I think that might be okay. Um I can work out the, the the prettiness of it soon. So what I need to test now is can I get all the way uh see so this is probably gonna change as well. So I I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make as much room here as possible for jumping. Yeah, that should be fine, I think. But we need to test all these paths around here now. So put red key in as well. Uh, thanks for the resub, my command. Ten months in a row, awesome, awesome. Cheers. And welcome along. Yeah, hope you're doing well. Just trying to figure out the best way of laying this out. And this is a kind of a quite a busy area. Uh, it's kind of awkward to get it just right. So we'll get there though. But yeah, I, I have faith that, that you guys are gonna create something now in in uh in basic based on what I've seen so far. And as I say, don't worry if it's not the, the most amazing game in the world. That's not the idea of this competition. It's really just to get you guys thinking about um, about making stuff in basic, get you used to the machine, get you used to the emulator, uh, help out LGB and, and the, the, the team at Mega65 to kind of fix issues in the emulator as well. Um, and so far, it seems to be doing uh, that job quite nicely, so... Okay, yeah, that's kind of cool. That, that kind of works. It's supposed to be a key there. Or have I grabbed that key already? Oh, there is a red key. Oh, yeah, because red key here as well. All right. Uh, part of me thinks this should maybe be a little bit wider. So I'm going to do that so you can see the key before you grab it. So let's do that. Let's. Uh... Oops. It's all very calculated, this. Oops. Oh my 
God, stop putting keys and stuff in the wrong places. Do think long and hard about how to make these levels work, so uh, that's why it's taking so long to do do this. But I think the end result will be worth the wait. I, I sure hope so. Anyway, I think this is going to be quite a nice uh, release actually for the Game Boy. Um, as I say, I've I've seen the artwork already and it looks incredible. So I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you guys. Um, the box artwork that is. Uh, I do need to do the new logo actually. Uh, I'll probably do that on the next stream actually. I do need to create a new, um, a, a new, what's the word? Uh, the kind of in intro logo sort of thing. Who put this on? Five space. It's just ridiculous. It's so. Um, oh my god, where I kind of find the right piece? Isn't that piece? Yeah, maybe I need to block this up a little bit more. Okay. This tune is just so wrong, it should just not be allowed. Well, that's not going to put it up at the top, I got that go. There we go, that's going to work. I swear this tune gets worse every time I hear it. I didn't think it was possible, but I think it is actually getting worse every time I hear it. Okay, that's just going to make that feel a bit better here. Uh, you need to do some testing around this area to make sure you can't like jump back up, because um, you can definitely jump up to here, I reckon. But I don't think you'll be able to get up here, so that's good. Okay, that looks fine. Okay, so there is a path blockage here. So we're definitely going to need a terminal somewhere. So I'm going to put a terminal here. Because you can potentially get yourself blocked in here with this piece here. So uh, I'm going to put terminal on this block here. Uh, and that should prevent what's just happened to me there, which is I, I'm now in the wrong. Oh, no, I actually can get past. Oh. That's a bug we need to fix as well. See, I'm in the wrong. I'm in the wrong mode now. Now, okay, now I am stuck. Okay. Okay. So this is a little bit different in that you don't have to keep coming down here. There's a there's a power terminal here now, uh, but it is a kind of awkward one in that you've got to. You've got to change at least once to get to it. No. See if you stay in if you stay in the old mode, that's fine. Then you get here and you get past this as well. So this needs a jump that you can only do in mode. So let's do that like so. And there would be a red door and a blue door here. why the blue door is different to the red door in its layout but it is let's make that the same uh is it red and then blue or is it blue and then red not that it really matters on this bit it's blue and then red but let's let's keep it the same for consistency okay and this will be removed let's take that out of there for now let's just put it here because this is the way you would normally come to grab more power so let's say we need more power we'll put it there and if this works we can tidy it all up make it look pretty and then move on to the next section
Okay, so I have a red key, which there is one of here anyway. The blue key, okay. Okay, that's a bit frustrating that you can actually get up there. Can't get up there though, so I need to change that mode. That's good. That's what I want. I need at least one place that she's going to do that. Those work. Okay, yeah, and then these kind of work as well, so... So there needs to be a ladder here, spikes here, and then drop back down to the green door down here. Okay, cool. So the layout's kind of fine. Just need to add some extra stuff in. Um, so let's have a look. Uh, okay, kind of all right with that. Um, I mean, if I remove that, let me try that, because it'd be nice if that jump needed you to change, because at the moment you don't need to change. Because half of the challenge with this game is is working out how to force the, the player to, to change at specific points and have the right amount of power to do this. Okay, let's go in here. Okay, so for instance, here you cannot jump over there in normal mode. You can only jump up here uh, in this mode. And you shouldn't be able to jump over to that without going up this way. So that's correct. Uh, same here. There's no, there's no way up to that. So you have to use... So you get here with full power, you have to be in this mode to get up there. Then you have to change to go across. And then to get up here. Yeah, okay, that's good. Right, let's get full power again. Okay, so. You absolutely have to change there. Oh, bollocks. Probably shouldn't change until I go all the way across. Let's try again. So absolutely have to change there. Then you have to change to get the blue key here, which I can't grab at the moment. Ah, okay. So it does need that extra block there. How can I change that? Um, yeah, these these edge jumps are a pain. Um, let's have a look. Actually, I wonder what happened if I just do that. Is that going to be enough? And is that the right tile set? It is the right tile set, okay. And that might be enough to grab it. Let's let's have a look. It might be enough, but I have a feeling it's gonna allow it to go up on on the other one, so. It's a slow process. I I, I do want to get this game out relatively soon. Um the the bitmap soft guys have been doing uh, a lot of work to get the the stuff ready and the cartridges uh, uh samples kind of ordered and stuff so i i really kind of want to get this in a position where um i'm i'm almost finished with it so i may actually bump up the number of streams i do on this i may start uh doing the odd random kind of game boy stream here and there to get this finished uh, because as soon as I finish this, I can focus on doing Mega 65 on that day as well. So, uh, Xylin, uh, thank you for the, the follow. I assume that's how you pronounce that name. I'm going to say 
Xylin, yeah. Um, or Chilin. Uh, sorry, Xylin or Chilin, I'm not sure. Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Okay, let's give this a try. So again, switch to this mode. Stay in this mode. Okay, I can still get over. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to fix that in any meaningful way. So, so it's just one change at the moment. And then I can be back on full power at this point here. Okay. Uh, not ideal. Um, but it is fine. I, I expect the, the kind of mechanics of this to change a little bit as we go through. It's not going to be perfect. But there's opportunity to change this up uh, in in other areas as well. So, Okay, that's good. All right. Uh, thanks for the follow, Eric the Plum. <laughs> I like it. In relation to Eric the Half a B, by any chance? Showing my age there. Well, I'm not really showing my age, just showing how much I like Monty Python, I guess. And I don't know why a plum would be related to Half a B, but um... <laughs> Eric the Viking. Oh my God, yeah. I remember that as well. Oh, and a raid from Eric the Plum as well. Hey, Eric the Plum, welcome. Uh, thank you very much for the raid. I hope you're doing well. Uh, what have you been up to tonight? And as I, I'm going to ask the question again. Uh, are you related to Eric the half a bee? Welcome Raiders. We're we're working on um a Game Boy game, Game Boy Color game, uh which we're just in the, I'm in the process of mapping for now. It's a long kind of winded process, but basically laying out the the, the map according to the original C sixty four version, which is this one. Um and I'm about I've done a maybe maybe just under half of the map now. Um uh, but uh, aiming to maybe add a little bit more into this this version as well. So uh, it depends on <laughs> depends on how long this takes. So, um... <laughs> I had to add an entire menagerie called Abdul. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh God, I, I... Monty Python is one of those things as well that I have to watch every now and again. I've, I'm probably going to have to go on a spree now because I've just because I've thought about it. I have to probably go on a spree now. And watch a ton of it um because it is just so damn good so damn good uh right okay so i think this is kind of fine in the rough layout now so let's add the green door in so the green door is down here and this is the kind of this is the gate to the next uh next area basically um and it's on this screen so that you can you can see it and be tempted by it um so it's kind of like here like this and then you can see the green key here uh but in order to get to it actually let's make that a, a bit deeper so let's get rid of that one but in order to get to it you have to kind of work a little bit um so yeah you kind of come here and you see the key here and you can see that there's kind of three three areas leading down um, and then when you come up to this screen, you just see three pathways leading down, but nobody remembers remembers these paths, which is the funny thing. So um, quite often people just jump into the spikes down here uh, and die, which is which is the aim really. It's the aim is to for me to kill you as quickly as possible uh, with these things, and and they do a good job of it. no ladder there at all although that needs to be a half section i 
which task I've got tons of task space left. That's good. I don't know what's coding basic on the M six zero. Perhaps port one of my own games. Lemonade stand, ice cream stand, beer stand. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's a lot of options, um, and your games would work really well actually on, on in Mega sixty sixty five. Some of the um, some of the smaller games would work really well. Wine stand that would make me happy actually. Yeah, even though there isn't a, a winner in this competition, I'd I'd find a way to make you the winner, just for making me a wine stand. I'd declare you a winner even though there isn't really a winner. Okay, that's kind of that. Okay, so what I'm trying to do now is just pretty things out a little bit because it's at the moment it's just a rough pattern. Uh, this is going to remain a rough pattern up here, but this side of things, all the way up to this point, is gonna is gonna uh, is gonna change. Uh, I'm gonna put there is an extra life. Uh, I'm I'm gonna hide it here. Um, and I hear it's on it's on a ledge. Nobody ever spots this extra life either. Um, uh, how do we submit an entry for basic 10 game as code you want or executable uh, as a, as a uh, send the, the D64 please uh, because I don't really have a, a way to um, uh, the D81 even I don't really have a way to um, yeah not D64 D81 I don't really have a way to copy paste it back into the program and, and what I might be able to do is uh I'm going to try a couple on the on the on the real machine, so you can see your stuff running on a, on the on the dev kits. Um, I I will test them all in the emulator first, but the, I'll I'll try a couple on the real machine as well. So I'm I'm going to put the extra life here as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide it with um, some kind of shrubbery, basically. That's the uh, <laughs> another Monty Python reference there. Can't help myself now. Assuming it does appear in front, it might not even appear in front of the. It might do though. I'll, I'll leave it like that anyway. We demand the shrubbery. <laughs> but anyway, we'll come back to that. So this is the area we need to decorate now. So first of all, I will need to tidy some bits up here. Uh, you see, this is this is wrong here. This shouldn't be like this. Uh, that should be more like that, if anything. Uh, actually, it should be on that angle. It should be fully filled in like that, actually. Uh, so it should be this one. What I'm going to do is copy that make sure we've got a version that's actually got bricks in this section as well because i think i've been using that same pattern everywhere um it's a ladder ah, there we go yeah like that there we go except it's not God damn it, it's not quite like that because the top is If I use extra tiles here, uh, looking for that brick. That's not it. It's probably easier if I just copy that one. See, do I have one with that in there? That, there we go. That, that's probably a better one. I'll do that at the bottom instead. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Just 
got to keep an eye on the shadows all the way along, make sure everything matches up correctly. Um, this is probably one of the trickiest bits about this, actually. Um, Val Desire, skiing and snowboarding. Oh, quiz error because of the... Oh, shit. Okay, so I need to add... Uh, okay, that's going to be fun. So I need to add um, translation. I need to replace accented accented letters, don't I? Okay, yeah, that's fine. I, I'll make a note to do that. I'm not going to do that right now, but it's probably not going to come up again. But So accents, some lights, things like that need to be basically ignored, so... I was looking uh, through the uh, the stuff LGB had been saying in um, I can't remember which channel it was. It was one of the uh, one of the uh, one of the channels in the in the Discord Mega Sixty Five Discord, and he was talking about them potentially somebody potentially doing uh, BBC Basic. Um, Which is really interesting if somebody does that. I mean, whether or not that happens, I don't know, but um, it was mentioned, so it could be something that makes an appearance at some point, which would be really, really cool. I mean, there's no reason it couldn't be done at all. Um, it definitely has the, the capabilities of doing that. That's bloody what, what I need that. I want that again. Um, but that that would be that would be kind of cool, I think, if they if they could do that, get away with it. <laughs> I don't see any reason why they wouldn't be able to get away with it, but you know. Okay. So this is also going to need uh, stuff underneath. Okay, so it's going to be like that in there, and then like that. There you go. So that screen kind of looks okay now. Let me get rid of that there. That shouldn't be there anymore. Uh, do doors have shadows on the other side of them? That's some I'm not remember whether I did or not. Uh, they do, okay. See, I'm, I'm not convinced whether that actually should be or not. Uh, I'll have to check when I'm done. I'm not, I'm not going to put the shadows in now, but I might have to go th through and put them in later uh, or, or remove them. Okay, so we're going to keep this all the same up to this point, I think, in terms of brick uh, patterns. And then here, I'll, I'll change it back to this one again. So all the way through here is just going to be the normal brick pattern. So let's work our way through this this layer here. Okay, so um, let's add a little bit of variation in here. would be that one. Would be not that one, but that one. That looks fine. Let's just add some random pads around here. Change the 
Rick slightly bit there, blue bit here. Uh, stick a red bit in here. And there as well, why not? Okay, that room looks kind of fine. That room looks fine. It needs a shadow there. That's good, that's good, that's all good. Uh, this is all good, yep. Okay, that leads raise it up to here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, okay. black in corner here okay let's start on the screen just making sense there Let's fill it all in and then go through the shadowing afterwards. So it's going to be the same all the way along to here. And then I think I was going to change when you go and when you drop down into the screen, it's just going to instantly change. Uh, transition between screen, not too, too bad, to be honest. On. Okay, this needs a ladder. That needs nothing. That needs nothing. Okay. Which means if you're stood up here looking over here, you should look at that and think, mm, maybe that is the uh, the area I need to go to because that's the bit that has the has the weird pattern on. Like the, the pattern that doesn't quite match the shadow in. Fill it in more. Need that. Got to have that there. Anytime you can get into a situation where um, the only way you can get out is through the ladder, there has to be um, there has to be a, a power console there. So we absolutely need one there without fail. Um, To do the shadowing later, let's get all the bricks in first. A lot of this is probably just placing enemies as well to make it more difficult. Okay, let's make this area fancier. So, it's probably enough.
Africa, looks all right. This is why I put the uh, put the races on fifteen minutes when I'm doing this because I go I have little silent episodes where I don't say anything for a few minutes because I'm, I'm too busy thinking deeply about what the hell I'm supposed to do to make this look good. Well, that wasn't what I was supposed to do. Uh, kind of works, I guess. If I did up there instead. I'll do. There we go. Oh my god, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. <laughs> oh, you guys keep yourself occupied with stuff anyway, so <laughs> it's pretty good. Okay, so that is this section here. Which does have a block here, so you can't get past here without transforming. And then you can't get past here. Does that need to be there? Could you get stuck here? Potentially, yes, you could. You could get stuck here. Okay, so you definitely need that in place. Let's put that uh let's put that here. Start making the ceiling look a bit fancier. It's going to be a version that was bricks. It's not it, but that could go down here. Let's fill it out now. Let's put a hole in here randomly. Okay, it's kind of filling out now. Uh, should we put a torch in here? Uh, I mean, it takes not very much. You could probably stick one here. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that looks fine. Uh, should I stick another one in this area here as well? Quite look right. That doesn't look right either. Yeah, that'll do. All right. Ugh. Uh, it was just me, and my dog. <laughs> Hey, Judge Dave, welcome. You can't make anything out of anything that tiny. Yeah, I I should really find a way to enlarge this a little bit if that's what you're what you're looking at. Uh, thanks, Judge Dave. Yeah, it's it's uh it's coming along all right. It's taken a, a bit of time to get this mapping stuff done, but it's uh it is coming along, which is nice. Finally. It's a slow process. The the mapping really is slow. Uh, I think more so than the the C sixty four version, just because I'm doing more in terms of how it looks. I'm spending a bit more time, and I have to kind of convert. I'm trying to be faithful, and convert the levels, but kind of faithfully, and it's it's kind of difficult to get it right. Uh, but yeah, it's it's coming along well. 
Thanks for the uh, thanks for noticing. <laughs> Okay, so that's that room looks fine. Okay, I need to sort the shadows out up here. Uh, no shadows here. Yes, let's go along the shadows now. So shadow it should be a corner shadow here. Doesn't help that I've got the the most kind of messed up kind of tile palette here that I really haven't paid much attention to. So it's a little bit uh, all over the show. In terms of order, it doesn't have much order to it, if any. Okay, that's fine. That's a shadow all the way up there. Best things always do take time. Yeah, they do. It does keep it does keep changing it to shaman, doesn't it? <laughs> Shall I just change my name? I'll change my name to shaman. Just be done with it. Save you the hassle, wouldn't it? Just have to keep making sure I'm not deleting ladders and things, uh, or adding ladders where there are no ladders, which I'm not doing. So that's good. that I really should have ordered these better that is the corner piece so it's it's this piece there we go that's what I need and that makes that screen complete yeah all right cool let's go on to this one all right so let's sort the top out to make that a bit more interesting. Uh, one of them in there. One of them in here. Why does that look completely wrong? Oh, let's put some of these grates in the floor as well. Oh, that one. That one here. Here as well. I do like those grates. They look kind of cool. Oh, we need to make, we need to put some holes and stuff in here. So, uh, Small holes, a small hole somewhere. God. Between that one. No, it looks, looks wrong. It looks wrong. It's like these ones here. That's what I want. Do you not copy it? Paste it. Paste it. There we go. Paste it, paste it. I mean, I can't do anything in these bricks here. Do something there, though. But that's going to change anyway because of the shadowing, so. So Okay, sweet. Um just notice one shadow that's wrong, which is this one here. Should have a brick there like that, so that one there. So 
<sighs> Can you gamble addicts? My god. You just complete gamble addicts. It's craziness. Uh, line numbers having to deal with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to uh to seeing everybody's stuff in the, in the competition. Well, it's not even a competition, it's uh it's just a challenge. Um but so far what I've seen looks promising, so um I'm I'm hoping everybody else uh, gets gets on with the challenge as well and it's I'm not just seeing a a, a very lucky kind of subset of what what's uh, what's possible. Of course, that would be on that side, wouldn't it? All right, let's change that door over like that. There we go. Okay, that obviously can't be like that. So I need one of these with a bit missing on that side. You know, I probably have these already all over the show and I'm not noticing. Like, what is that? I've got some kind of grassy pieces here. What's that about? So I don't remember doing those. But I don't want to remove them because I don't know what they're for, so. And there is the piece I was after. That. Okay, shadowing, shadowing is fine all the way along there. Okay, that's good. Okay, this bit down here now, um, and then we'll do this screen here. So working our way across, but it's kind of looking all right now. Mm -mm. Um Okay, so that wouldn't be like that. That would be more like this. That can be a piece like so. And then this just needs to make it interesting. So uh let's go with that here, like that, and then put a flat bit here. Uh, thanks for the follow, Fiskin AI. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Catch me in the middle of deep thought, trying to figure out how to do this in a nice, efficient way and make it still look interesting. That's the hard thing, is, is making it look interesting uh, and not just kind of dumping, dumping bricks everywhere, but kind of having some kind of nice kind of look to everything so it doesn't just look plain. You know, varying things up, putting some, putting some stuff around, putting some holes in things as well, like this, which I'm going to do now because I can see a good spot for a hole. Uh, it's these kind of variations that just keep the level looking interesting and not, um, you know, not not kind of crappy. But it's hard to get it right and maintain a, a good kind of feel to the levels. Should that see that one's wrong there, that needs to be God, okay, uh let's work our way down to this, okay. So that would be fine there, that would be fine. This is wrong. Not if I do that, no, it is if I do that. If I do that, then it's fine. Then I just need to get rid of that piece.
Oh my God, where is it? Yeah, that kind of works. Okay, so that looks fine now. Needs a bit more variation on the bricks. As on this screen, there's only two red bits here. So you can put blue here, uh, blue here, green bit there, the green bit there as well. That looks all right. Cool. <laughs> Magic thighs and room fondle. Oh god, I love it when I love it when you guys bring up my favourite books. Well, that is my favourite book, full stop. Fifty Shades of Grey, shut off. <laughs> read that if you paid me I'd say it depends I'm, I'm a bit of a whore so enough money and I'd read it okay so is this looking correct now yes 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 No. I've not heard this for a while. I think I've missed this the last couple of times you guys have put it on, so. <laughs> oh, God. Slatty Bartfast was originally going to be called Farty Footballs. <laughs> I did not know that. That's an interesting piece of information. Is that true? That's cool. Uh, for a career, that's uh, a reverse engineer and a grid runner is is probably uh, old school coder. He's been doing that in the CBM studio. You'd be pleased you found him. Oh, that's the wrong one in that corner. That needs to be that one, maybe. No, that's the same. Oh, see the two, two identical pieces here. That's not good. This is the problem I keep running into that I'm just I'm duplicating stuff all over the place. But I'm scared to remove any in case. I'll, I'll if I run out of room, then I'll I'll look at removing some, but. Until I run out of room, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch them because well because I don't need to. Um, if I was gonna, it'd be something like this, and then and then some of the pieces would fit better in the corners. But I'm not gonna do that. That'll do. Uh... He wanted to fuck with his editors, so submit that first, then said he'd not have any name at all to annoy him. <laughs> uh, he's got a single code base for all CBM. Yeah, I, I saw he'd been he'd been doing that. Uh, still working through the Shallon archive. God, it's, I mean, we're up to I don't know how many hours of video now, but it's it's quite a lot. Well, you consider the uh, the Saturday streams alone, there's 60 odd of them, uh, and they're five hours long mostly. It's it's a metric fuck ton of videos. Uh, that's an official official unit of measurement and a metric fuck ton. Okay, this this needs putting up a bit. It's a bit too straight, isn't it? Too too straight and kind of obvious i need to kind of make it a bit more interesting do this uh i'm going to change anything here what did normally do there 
Oh, we don't do anything. Okay, we just leave a gap there like that. Okay. See that? I think that's wrong. I think that should probably be like that. Yeah. Because it is a, a shadow down in that direction. Yes, that's correct. Like that, that would be. I think I was right the first time, wasn't I? Yeah, it would be that. Okay, cool. Metric shed load. <laughs> 50 mega photons of video. <laughs> yeah. Now officially fifty percent of all. There is a lot. I mean, there's at least there's gonna be at least three hundred hours of Saturday content, and then there's all the um, there's all the other ones as well. So the dissect streams are usually what three hours long. There's probably about twenty of those. So there's easily five five hundred, uh, six hundred hours of, of stuff. So this is why I was saying it'd be really nice to kind of um spend some time and go through the videos and make an index of them so people can actually find what they're looking for. Because at the moment, there's not really an easy way to do that. You're just kind of stuck um, with a, a metric fuck ton of videos to look through. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to try something here because I think I prefer, prefer this layout of these, these instead. I know I've done this area already, but... Okay. Hey, Proton. Mr. G, I've started my reverse engine my reverse engine project this week. Already bumped some walls. I had to write some code. Uh, 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 some code. God, code format converter. But at least I got more familiar with CC4. So yeah. So it's a good, good. Um, it's a good exercise. Reverse engineering stuff for definite. Um. Oh yeah, and the marathon streams as well. I forgot those. Yeah. Still need to still need to figure out what I'm going to do for the next one as well. So, but I will I will do something. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, I don't know what and when. I I need to be more in the. Uh, I need to be more in the mood for it. I did want to do an Arkanoid game. Um, I'm kind of. So I'm kind of feeling if I do a charity game or, or if I do a marathon stream, whether or not it'd be a charity game or not, I don't know. Um, it's probably going to be a Mega 65 title. Uh, Luna um, is is a definite possibility. Um, it, I, I, I don't know. I don't know when it would be, but... Um, but it's a definite possibility, so... Um, I have got to be in the mood for it, so. <laughs> hey, I mean, credit for Sean for saying Blue Max at all. I mean, this is this is a guy who uh, uh, was born after Commodore <laughs> kind of <laughs> shut down. So, um, the fact that he knows Blue Max at all. I mean, I don't know how you found out about Blue Max. Did you just type Commodore Plane Game or something? Google. <laughs> yeah, it's been a little bit light on the on the Nintendo games. All right, I think that screen's fine as well now. So let's get over to this side, do this, and then we've got uh, we've got that area done, and we can start moving on to section two. This is taking some time, though. Blimey. Blue Max is one of those had a video. Blue Max actually sounds like a brand of Viagra, doesn't it? That's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like a, a dodgy kind of dodgy brand of Viagra. Uh
Uh, say a good night, Sean. Thanks for joining. Enjoy your mug. So Sean wasn't even in the competition, um, and he's bought a spiral mug. <laughs> That's how dedicated he is to the cause. He wants to praise the spiral, even though the spiral, he has no connection with it. Uh, it's, for his, it's for his hipster coffee. That's what it is. <laughs> I say it reminds me, I need to order some more coffee. I'm running out. Not wrong, no wrong with hipster coffee. I can't, I can't complain. I, I do like my coffee. And I wouldn't really call it hipster. <laughs> it's only hipster if you drink it out of a shoe. While eating food served off a slate or something. So I'm, I'm going to put this... Uh, where is it? Oh my god, where's it gone again? It's really hard to find things in this. I need to sort this out. Not that, not that, not that. Although that does need to make an appearance in a few places here. Uh, but that one. Not there, though. I've been slowly working my way through uh, Final Space, and I'm on the I'm on the very last episode now, and I can't bring myself to to watch it because I I don't want it to be over. I'm annoyed. I've watched everything there. I watched the new Dead Pixels. That's uh, has anybody else watched Dead Pixels? By the way, it's a great show. Uh, that's I binge watched the entirety of that in in uh, one night. So bit annoyed that that's finished now um and yeah pretty much the same for uh well no i haven't binge watched uh uh the oh shit that's not gonna work that needs to be on both sides okay i need a new tile then to do that uh yeah so i've not binged watched uh, final space because I've been trying to save it, like I say, but it's annoying me now because I've got one episode left and I really don't want to watch it, but I really realize I'm gonna have to at some point. So I'm, I'm looking for looking for new stuff. That one sounds like an odd place, yeah. I'm not also using mug and a plate. I use, yeah, I actually do use my Mac. I use my Mac as a mug holder. Silicon Valley, that's a good show. I haven't gone, yeah, I need to go through that. And the Orville as well, because I've only seen season one of the Orville. And I haven't watched The Mandalorian at all yet. So, I've, yeah, I've got quite a few things actually I need to. Watch. I, I thought I'd kind of completed Netflix, but I uh, have, well, I kind of have. I need to, I need to start watching some Disney Plus and stuff. What's um, Silicon Valley on? That's, um... shit, what is that on? Is that on Now TV or something? It's a HBO show, isn't it, I think? God, it shows, shows how much I remember. Wait, not a lot. Oops. Right. Uh, Silicon Valley is quite marvellous. Yeah, I, I've watched quite a lot of that. I can't even remember where I got up to, but I definitely finished at the end of a season, so maybe season three or something. Um, so I am gonna I'm gonna go through that. It's a really good show. I think that's gonna be my next one. In which case I don't mind finishing Final Space because I've got something else to watch. I blasted through the new season of South Park, blasted through uh, Final Space up to this point, blasted through uh, Dead Pixels. 
which I absolutely love. I just wish it wasn't a British show so that they'd make more than six episodes. See, I, the only thing I hate about British shows is that they um, they don't make very many of them. They don't have the, the same kind of schedules that they do in the, in America for these things. So you end up with very small shows that only run for uh, you know six six episodes at a time. This is depressing. It's shame because it's a great show as well. Oops, that's a hole in the scenery. I don't want that. Oh, that one there. Okay, so this whole area in it. Let's spruce this bit up here. So we keep that there, but put this one in like so. Yeah, six to ten max. Oh, do you know what? I, I need to write these down because I definitely need to. Silicon Valley, I definitely need to watch. Uh, Mandalorian, I need to watch because I haven't seen any of that. And I'm sick of seeing Baby Yoda and not really knowing what it's about, or that it looks cute and it's a Baby Yoda. Um, what was the other one? Orville as well. The Orville. And I believe Picard season Picard season two is coming out soon. So Mr. Robot. Yeah, I haven't seen any Mr. Robot actually. That's another one. Cool. That's got that's my watching sorted for the next couple of weeks. I say a couple of weeks, it's locked down, isn't it? It's probably gonna last me a, a week or something. <laughs> I prefer that without the, the stuff there, and I'm gonna put this here instead. Actually, no, that's all right. Put that there. No. Oh, it kind of is like that, though. Damn it. Um... Oh, there's the bloody small hole that I was looking for. Typical. All right. Um... Okay, that's not. Oh, yeah. No, that is right. Okay. So, so yeah. Ignore how this bit is here. That's going to be changed. Uh, I will put some bricks in just so we know that it is a passageway and not, not something broken. Uh, actually, I will tidy it up a little bit so it looks looks like a, an explorable area and not just a broken bit. Okay, this is a ladder here, so I can't do anything with the walls down here, but I can do a little bit here. So I can put... Put that there like that. Okay, this needs shadow underneath it, but it's it's got a torch there, so that's pain. So it's that piece there. So that is not present anywhere. Okay. I feel like there's so many duplicate tiles in this, I really do, but See, I kind of feel like that would have at least one brick pattern here. I think it would light up because of that area, so oh, it doesn't look right though. Um that looks a bit better. Okay, cool. Uh hey Oscar Coda. Just installed new keyboard. <laughs> you mean plugged in keyboard? <laughs> yeah. True. It's been a long time since anybody had to install a keyboard, right? Um, okay, so this feels kind of right now. Oh, that bit there should be... Gap underneath, yep. Yeah. Okay, then 
No, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel right that actually. It doesn't feel right, that's that's better. Okay. Okay, that's that section. Oh blimey. Alright. This map is taking on quite the uh scale now. Uh, dark recommended series is dark from one of my bosses. Okay, dark. Let's have a look at that. Um, do you get some weird kind of recommendations now and again for things? And I I watch them and think, mm, mm. okay. Right, do you know what, guys? I'm going to take a quick two-minute break. I need to go and get some drink. I'm, I'm out of Bacardi, but I don't have any more, so I'm going to have to get a Fanta or something. Um, people are bad judges of their own terrible taste, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go and take a quick break, guys. I'll be I'll be five minutes, if that. Uh, then when I come back, we'll get get on with it. Well, I'll, I'll save this map, and we'll get on with the other bits. In fact, I'll save it and do a quick test just to make sure it looks good, uh, and then we'll move on to the next area, so... Cool. Back in five minutes, guys. Bring it back. It's typical. Sean's always complaining that the games are not, not modern enough for him. He goes away and then two PlayStation games in a row. Maybe three. I'm not sure. Don't know what the, if there was another one. I saw one PlayStation one. Uh, stop break. There we go. 15 minutes again. There we go. Yeah, not sure what that is. Never heard of it. <laughs> Never heard of it. So we're on the uh, the the Fanta fruit twist at the moment, which is uh, a little bit too exotic for my liking. But it's fine. It's fine. Oh, yep. Okay, let's give this a try then. Damn it, you got the COVID jab. Damn it, I feel like I'm going to be right at the end of the freaking queue. Okay, so obviously we need some enemies in this this area. We've got no enemies at all. Uh, but honestly, I'm gonna the enemies. I'm gonna leave till the end. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the game mapped out and then work out where the enemies are most needed. Um, as I, I think that's probably the better way of doing it. At the moment, I've been oh man, I've been putting enemies in everywhere, uh, and I I think I should probably just wait until shit. Is this gonna work? Yeah. Okay, got that key, got that key. Oh, I can't get... Ah, oh, shit, okay. See, at this point, I wouldn't be stuck like this normally. I would have... I would have access... This door here would be open. Oh, I can open it. Ah, oh, yeah, of course, because I've got a key. Oh, shit, now I've got, I've got the key. Do need to jump over here. Oh damn it! No, it's the wrong key. I got the wrong freaking coloured key now. No, I've got the right key. Okay, I don't have the blue key now, so I'm not going to be able to get through the door. Okay, need to restart. Shit, I've done it again. I should be able to get the key though without. Oh no, damn it, I can't. Oh, damn it, alright. Okay. 
chances are it's the Oxford here too for anyone under 70. Yeah, I think it will be. Oh man, I've just never got enough power to. Hang on, have I have I screwed this up? So have I done something wrong here? Right, you come into this bit here. You get up here. One change, okay. Okay, you've got two keys. No, no, this is fine, isn't it? Right, okay, good. Through here, yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, need to get rid of that because that's not, you're not supposed to be able to jump up there like that. So I need to get rid of that piece there. So it's that bit there. That can be that instead. That's fine. Let's see how this looks. Looks good. This would be a good place for a flying enemy, I think, because it makes it kind of treacherous to go up. This feels a little bit thin there. Uh, so either it needs something to pad these bricks out a little bit, or, or a, I'm going to add a little slope here, I think. So this bit here. So instead of it just being str uh, straight like that, I'm going to add uh, something like this instead. But that's obviously going to need brick pattern on it. So, and that's going to need a brick underneath it. Which can be just a plain one, I think. It just makes that a little bit more interesting to look at and a little less kind of straight and makes this bit here a bit thicker. So just save that. Shit, did that save? I didn't press no. I think I might press no then. There we go. So then you get to this bit, which you have to jump over these two areas to get the green key. That takes us through here. Into here. Ah, okay, I need to do the shadows along this bottom bit, and this, yeah, it needs a bit more interesting down here. And then this area, okay, cool. And that heart is not behind things, so I need to make that appear behind things, or just just leave it here. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go back to work in March. That's so going to be fun. Joy's traveling on the tube again. Oh, are you in London? You're in London, SP. Whereabouts in London are you then? East London. So kind of um, uh, Stratford kind of way. Yeah, tube. I, I'm really not looking forward to getting onto the tube at all. That that's the bit that scares me the most about the whole thing is the fact that that is just I mean it was always a uh, you know a, a cesspit of kind of disease that thing anyway I mean if you saw somebody sneeze on the tube you basically knew you were going to get you were going to get the virus you, know, you were going to get a cold at some point um, it's just such a such a cesspool uh, and now with this it's just like even more reason um, to avoid it. 
but it's not that easy to avoid unfortunately um well i mean i'm I'm kind of lucky because i can walk into work i i live close enough to work that um it's not going to be an issue for me to to walk in but not everybody has that um you know not everybody has that uh, flexibility so i i do feel sorry for those that do have to have no choice but to deal with that uh, a walk for me would take me half an hour 45 minutes or so and i'd rather do that than uh than risk getting getting covid um it's just not worth it but we've got no nobody's told us we have to be into work uh so that that's that's kind of i'm lucky in that respect and i am grateful in that respect that i can very easily work from home um uh, two stops on the jubilee and one oh the jubilee oh actually the jubilee isn't not too bad is it the um, docklands light railway still i mean that it's the problem is the tube is just busy in general it doesn't really matter where you are it's just busy all the time so the absolute worst for me was the um uh, the the uh probably the central or the circle line either of those two central i really hated uh, just because it was old and rickety so i'm going to change that i don't like the squareness of this i'm going to change that and then make, make that something a bit different um yeah because then i can do that okay uh central is just horrible because it's old uh and circle is is just like stupidly busy so never enjoyed that one Okay, this looks fine. I kind of want to vary that a little bit. I don't like the, yeah, like that. There we go. There. Uh, but now, now I'm on the on the northern line, so it's it's busy. But I. I don't go in the morning. It's busy. It's, well, actually, it's busy both ways. But um, I'm not on it for very long. I'm, I'm on it for like three stops, four stops, or something like that. I can't even remember. It's been that long since I got on the tube. I can't actually remember how many stops my my thing is. Um, wow, that's that's crazy. I don't think I'd ever forget how many stops it would take me on the tube, but I actually have. Uh, but yeah, it's it's been so long. I I, I don't actually remember. Uh, but I, yeah, I I don't mind it now because I don't have to. Um, I don't have to be on it for very long. So. Um, but I realise that's uh, going to be in a germ-infested cavern at the moment. So I really don't want to. Because uh, it's not just the tube as well. It's it's the stations, right? They they're all kind of recirculated air and it's not um it, it's not the nicest place in the world anyway so i think that's going to be I, I do think that's going to be more um more common than ever now um people working from home i think that's just going to be the new norm isn't it the companies have realized they don't need the kind of crazy size offices that they have uh, and they can probably get away with smaller offices. And so I think that's what we'll see. I think we'll see uh, a lot more working at home and, and a lot a lot less people uh, traveling into the office all the time. Oh. So I'm going uh, to do that with this one instead, not that one. Wait, why am I? This is, the, this, is this area, isn't it? I don't need to mess with this area, but I'm going to fill it in with grapes this way. It looks all right. Yeah, I think I think that's the new norm. I, I don't know what the 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 plan is with our company, but I would imagine they're they're probably thinking of doing something similar, uh, offering work at home for 
few days a week or, or full time for some people. So, um, hey, Magikaros, welcome to the stream. Fortunately, all your stops are overground. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, yeah, I've never liked the underground portion because they always smell funny as well. It never smells quite right. Um, and now it's just, I, I'm just completely afraid of it now. It's like, why would I want to uh, even remotely um, breathe that air in there? That rancid, diseased air. No, thank you. Right, so we're at, we're up to this point now. So actually we're in a new area. Now there's these new lamps, but I'm not going to include these in, in the Game Boy version. I don't think they're necessary. They don't really add anything to it other than a bit of variation. And I think with the background stuff we've got the variations pretty good um so all this next room really is for this is this is kind of um this is almost like a little checkpoint when you get to this point um you can't go back anymore so let me just oops just set this to be the same on, on both sides so what i'm going to do is um we need to create something that you can't jump back out of, which is what this is. You can't get back out of this area here. Um, so really, this is just a, a like a, a, a gateway, really, like a, a checkpoint gateway, where once you go down here, you're in the second half of the map. Um, <laughs> oh, worker. <laughs> uh, yeah, unless he's a gardener, or, or he, his typo was that he added an E. I do like um what's his face? Uh uh Ken Yong from the from uh oh god, what's it called? Hangover and stuff. Because his uh, his wife is called Tran Ho and he, he says he, he likes you because he can he can get away with saying, Come here, ho. I married a ho <laughs> and so on. It's kind of funny. I do like that guy. It's a bit crazy, but he's uh he's fun. Okay, so actually, it it kind of changes a little bit down here. The 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 bricks change a little bit into this this one on top. So we might need some new hands. But for now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna map out the rough shape. Uh, I think that's fine. Uh, it just needs to be work about the work out the exact pattern layer. Just as well put that in there. That's fine. Um, so there needs to be one of these here. And this, as I say, this needs to be a gatekeeped area. So this essentially just needs um, one of these to kind of block it. I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to bring this over by wall. I'm going to make this a bit, a bit thicker here. Uh, that's the one oh my god i keep pressing the wrong buttons here we go now that is wrong there So I'm going to keep that, that well, I'm going to do it that high, actually, because this needs to change. Once we come out of this room, it's all kind of different. So that's definitely gatekeeping. There's no way back up there once you come through here, um, which means this should be there. Sorry, not that far. That should be on that side. Should be here. Do the chains have shadows on it? I don't think they do, do they? No, they don't. Okay. Also, I think this is, we, we need to have a change of background down here. So we're going to go with this one instead. Uh, 
where's the counterpart to that? That doesn't seem to have anything on. Let's fill the background in here. And where's the ladders? You need to watch it. Yeah, there's the ladder. God damn it. Okay, so there should be a piece at the top there, but there isn't. Um, where's that chain? That chain doesn't exist. I feel like I'm I'm adding way more than I need to here. Um, okay, so definitely once I get down here, I'm not getting back up up there at all. Um, up here, up here. This should be, uh, I mean, I could put another one of these in, but I, I mean, look at this here. Uh, it does make sense that there's a way to get back up onto here, but maybe not further than that. So I'm going to put a little ledge that sticks out here, maybe. Um, so something like this. Finding the right piece that fits with the style as well. That's the that's the hard thing here. Well, that would have a shadow under it, so that can actually just be that. That's fine. That would have a shadow under it, so that would be that like that. Actually, that would be. A couple of these random. Okay, so it needs it needs shadow in this area, but you get the idea. Uh, actually, that probably doesn't want to be there. That's probably enough to get up there. Yeah, probably is enough. Okay, so that that lets me get back up there, but not up there, which is fine. Which means I can put. I could could I put an enemy? No, I can't really put an enemy on that. So I'm not sure how enemies would work in this area. Probably not at all, really. Uh, okay, so that leads us on. You see now how that's, uh, with the exception of the the path um, back up here later on, that basically leaves us with this section here now. Um, so we're into like the the second half of the game basically so what i want to do is i want to keep the pattern of doors the same uh, but i want to try and spread things out a little bit more so that we're not quite as cramped as we are on this side uh, i'm not sure how this is going to work with screen counts i don't know if there's a limit to what we we can add in i can't remember what i've got the code set up to do i have a funny feeling there is a limit uh, so i may have to up that at some point let me just think what i need to do code wise okay so i've got the intro that i need to do uh the completion that i need to do so that so i need the beginning and the end of the game um i need to uh, digitize the logo so there's a new logo um which nobody's seen before. It's it's a completely brand new logo. It's been designed for this one. Uh, I think it fits it really well. So I'm going to go with go with that and brand this game with that logo. Um, maybe digitize some of the art off the cover into a into an intro screen as well, just to fill the cart out a little bit more. Um, add some splash screens in, so things like bitmap soft and stuff. Just some splash screens in there. Um, so really fleshing out the, the kind of the intro to the game and the end of the game. Um, I need to add all the dialogues in place where they belong. Um, shouldn't be a difficult task. That actually should be pretty quick. Um, 
I need to finish the music player, uh, which is it's it's functional, but it just needs effects and things so that it can it can sound decent. Um, I need to add sound effects as well. I don't have any sound effects. So that's something to add in. They should be pretty easy. You could probably use a music player to do those. Um, that's pretty much it. It's it's not an awful lot, really. It sounds a lot, but it's not that much. The The bulk of the work's been done. Um, the mapping is probably the biggest job. Like we, We've done... This is what my fourth mapping stream, uh, and we're only halfway through, but it is getting easier to do now, so that's good. Okay, so let me have a think about this. Um, okay, so there is this area here, uh, which is basically this here is this bit here. So that makes an area up here, this bit here. Um, and this has a ladder on this side. So let's let's just map this out, see if it if it works on one screen. I might have to spread this over two screens. In fact let's go let's go ahead and, and move it um over two screens. Uh is there some Kickstarter actually it was just straight it was gonna be Kickstarter but realizing uh in, after discussing it a little bit with um I mean we were we were all kind of hyped up for doing it, but it's just a lot more work to kind of uh to set that up. So we're just gonna go straight with a straight uh pre-order kind of uh thing. So there'll be a, the the pre-orders will open um like two 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 to three months before the game is ready. Um just so that we can get an idea of numbers um for for cartridge and, and box um uh, production so um but it's going to come in a proper game boy color box um obviously not branded game boy color it's going to be branded bitmap soft instead of game boy color because obviously we're not allowed to do do that but it will look for all intents and purposes like a, a game boy color box same size same inserts and stuff so uh so the manual is uh being worked on i, I wrote the copy for um the manual the other day the artwork has been done uh, for the for the box. It looks really good. As I say, I cannot wait to show you guys. And I think we're going to do. Um, I think I'm going to do t-shirts of those when when they're when it's revealed. Uh, I'm holding off on doing the logo for the game. So, like at the moment, we've just got this this screen. So this is going to actually have the proper logo across the top here. And, and maybe a star field in the middle. So that's what, one of the things I mean about the intro. Uh, but I don't want to do that until the reveal is done because it's it's part of the box art. So I want to I want to leave that until the pre orders up. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty much everything is in place. The cartridges have been priced up, and we've worked out exactly kind of how to get them done. Uh, I'm not sure who's going to burn the cartridges. That might be something I have to do. Um, I don't know if Jamie can do that or if that's something we can order them with images on them. I'm not sure. I need to figure that out. I don't think so. But they shouldn't be hard to hard to burn. I've got the burner, so uh shouldn't be too difficult. Uh just have to get an advance. Yeah, so actually this is one of my favorite uh favorite purchases uh over the over the past year, the little Game Boy Advance. Really, really pleased with it. So I got um it's uh it's an AGS001. So this was one that didn't have the backlit screen. It just had the side lit screen. But somebody's modded it. So they've taken it apart. They put a new shell on it. Uh, they put the original uh, sticker back on, on the new shell um, and give it a backlit screen. And it's it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Uh, one of my best investments, actually. So I definitely recommend that if you don't have a, a Game Boy Color already, then uh, Game Boy Advance will, will do. Um, and it looks great. I mean, I've not actually seen what it looks In fact, let's have a quick look what this looks like on the... Because now we've done the graphics update. It'd be interesting to see what it looks like. So let me... Assuming my battery lasts. I haven't charged it for a while, so... Okay, let me save and export that map as it stands. Uh, 
right, okay. And I, I also, I want to set for that one. Yeah. So this was uh, starting on screen 28. I'm going to go back to screen, was it 7 or 17 or something? 11, I think it was. I, can't oh, I can just undo, can I? We're on 20, yeah, 11. I just want to see what it looks like from the beginning, so. Don't Game Boy Color Cuts work in the DS Lite? I wouldn't have thought so. Um, but there's probably, it depends if you've got a, got a jailbroken DS, then you can probably, there is probably ways to do it. But I don't think it natively has the the uh, the Z80 stuff in it, so. Because the, the reason why these work with uh the reason why these work with Game Boy Color games is because they have a Z80 or the the sharp version of the Z80. So, so that's why this can run it. And the DS Lite doesn't; it just has the ARM chip. So, and this is a Game Boy Color only game as well. Remember that this isn't going to work on a on a on a standard Game Boy. So, if you do have a standard Game Boy, you you it's not going to work on it. So. Yeah, you can't play. Yeah, so I've got a Game Boy Advance. Uh, uh, where is it? Oh, I don't know where it is. It's probably in a box somewhere. So I've got the I've got the old Game Boy Advance, the the kind of the handheld kind of brick type one, um, <coughs> and it's it's completely shit because once once you you need to play it in direct sunlight basically. Um, you can get uh, upgrades for the screens on that, but. I just prefer these. These are these are just so much better. All right, let's work out what screen uh, this needs to be for the new area down here. Now, let me just boot that up. So I've got a. Okay, I've got a. Okay, so this was twenty eight. So this was like. Oh, but if I did more space on over here, but uh, oh no, it should be fine. Okay, 28, 29, 30, 31. So let's just change it to 31, and then that should be fine. But before I do that, I just want to put this game on the cartridge. So not that one, sorry. I need the one from... Wait, which is which is which? Oh, that one. Okay. So I think at some point I'm gonna have to to make this work with. Um... Yeah, I know it's not the Z80. It's it's the it's the weird sharp. Well, I call it the Z80 because you know, for all intents and purposes, when you're working with it, you're 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 doing Z80 code. It's just you're doing a a subset of it with some weird stuff in it. I get that. I hate it equally, so it's fine. Okay, I don't know how well we're going to be able to see this. I'm certainly not going to be able to play it like this, so let me just get it onto a... find a decent screen. Oh, no, it is doing the white flash. That's annoying. Oh, I didn't think it was doing that, but it is doing that there. So that's the LCD turning off, but you can see it looks kind of nice. Hard to see on that, but it does have that white flash, so I'm going to have to figure that out as well. So that, that white flash is when you turn the LCD off. Um, but that wasn't showing originally, and now it is. So I'm not sure why that is. Uh, I might have to look into solutions to that. But it does, I mean, it's really hard to tell on that screen, but it, it does look, on the camera, it does look really nice, though. Um, and it's definitely added, the, 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 the background pieces have definitely added the quality, so that's good. Uh, damn it, the white flash is annoying. I guess I'm going to be looking at how to fix that soon. Uh, I mean, one one solution might be, I don't know, because it still needs to draw the LCD. 
Uh, I need to, I need to have a think about that, but that's that's going to be uh, one for a later day. Looks nice though. Looks nice. I like it. Just need to get rid of that flash, and then we're done. Uh, okay, so hopefully this new uh, map location should start me um, at the beginning of this area. So yeah, it does. Okay, so it starts me here, and you can see this area here, and I I, I certainly cannot get back up there. Okay. That can jump up there. Okay, that's good. So I can get back up here, but I can't get out. So that's kind of what I want. Uh, I'm not going to put the shadows in this area yet. I'm going to I'm going to look at um, laying some area out. Let's try and figure out how to split this up. So we need to get back to this screen here eventually because we need to come across here. Uh, that comes from this section here. So the idea of this section is there's a blue key. Let's try, and, let's try and spread everything over two screens now. Let's see if we can if spreading things out makes things a bit a bit more kind of um, a bit easier to deal with. So let's just map out the the screen. So uh, Okay, so we've got this area here, which kind of goes all the way along and then has this bit. Now, this is some floor here made out of, let's just do this. And there is a ladder here that leads up to, up to this point. This kind of blends in like this. Um, now, if I'm using because there is there is this area here, which is new screen, okay, so that would be okay this this could work still, I think, okay, um, there's a door here, so that needs to be at least that low. Keys in. Let's get the door in. Oh my god, I don't have a door with the other with this brick type on. Oh actually no, this screen it wouldn't be. This screen is gonna be this brick anyway, so that's fine. Okay, so that would be there like that. Okay, let's make this tiny bit more interesting. Let's bring that up like that. And then there'd be a ladder here. A ladder here, maybe. Yeah, okay. So it'd be there like that. Okay, cool. And that means that that is not accessible because the whole point is that you can kind of, you can see this bit and you can kind of jump over, but you can't quite get to it. You have to go all the way around to get to that point. So that kind of matches this quite well. Uh, that, that'll kind of do, I think. Just kind of forming a rough shape for things here. Columns. Uh, I'm going to put a column in, I think, here. Oh, maybe a broken, maybe the broken one can go on this bit here. Oops. Okay, let's fill that in with this brick, and then I know that that's the brick that we're using here. Obviously, this needs shadow in, pretty and up and stuff, but it gives me a rough idea of what the the pattern is here.
and then I'm going to do a sharp cut again here. So you see how we've got this sharp cut here between screens, between brick types. I'm going to do the same on this one here. Um, so let's just work this out. Okay, so this would be kind of like this. And then you could jump up to there, I think. So we're probably going to have to test that in terms of whether or not that's actually feasible to jump straight up onto there. Uh, spread this out over two screens. See, I don't want that on the bottom. So there is a ladder here, isn't there? There's. I think the ladder goes from here to here. Which I think, as long as you can't jump, oh no, you will be able to jump up, all right. Maybe it doesn't need two here. Maybe one's enough. That's the, that's probably the problem there. Yeah, I think that's that's fine. Uh, let's make this roughly match the the pattern we've got here. And obviously this needs prettying up, as I say, but this will do as a basic starting point, jumping off point for this. Um, Kind of trying to build something that that works kind of similar, but not not exactly the same because it, it's not going to work quite the same. But um, I think that's kind of fine. Can I get up there? No. Okay. So this is why it needed another area here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put there like that so we have a way to get up onto that which means this area down here is again going to be in two halves so this whole slice down here I'm going to put into two halves I'm going to work my way down here working out where the entrances are um Every time you see something like A, hey, I'm like, okay. <laughs> the white flashes had yeah, the white flashes happened on the emulator since the beginning, but um I was pretty sure when I did the um did the hardware test I wasn't seeing the white flash. So I don't know if it's like I don't know if it's a battery saving mode that this might be in, so I might need to charge this up just to make sure that there isn't like a a weird mode it goes into um but i need to do some investigations around that because that is a little bit frustrating uh, it'd be fine if i could just make it black it was a black flash absolutely fine i wouldn't wouldn't mind it's the fact that it goes white which is the is the problem um i mean the other the other potential solution is to um actually no it wouldn't work because the so what i was going to suggest if you look at um if you look at the way this this background works you this is the screen right um, just load it to the game so you can see the screen here i was thinking maybe i could have another screen down here uh but it's it's just a little one four one two three four one two three yeah, I mean it's just not enough not enough space unfortunately. So the screen is uh eighteen high, but the entire map space is only thirty-two high. So I'm short by about four rows. 
because otherwise I could just I could just move the map up and down, which would be fine. I mean, it would change so much of the code would break though if I did that. So because uh, I did weird lookups for doors and stuff based on actual positions in memory and stuff. So so not not ideal. Um, Because that way, that way, I wouldn't need to turn the screen off. I could just draw it down here and then flick the screen over when it's done. Uh, the other, the other way, of course, maybe is to, um, to use the DMA mode somehow. But I'm not, I'm not sure if that would work with screen. No, it wouldn't, would it? it just, no. Ah, damn it! All right. Uh, am I porting a game? Yes, I'm porting my C64 game, uh, Dot Cosmos, uh, from C64 to Game Boy Color. Uh, so this is what it looks like on the Game Boy. Uh, it will probably look more like that, nice and small. Actually, it looks really nice on the on the real real deal. So, um, and it's I'm basing it off the C64 game, which this is the the exported map for. Um, just about halfway through the match. I think I'm over halfway now of the map, so it's going quite well. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. So, and welcome to the stream, Valley Sip. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's have a look. What have we got down here? So, uh, I've not put anything else in here, though. Okay, so it's just emptiness. You should send that map to Zap. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Because I've got I've got the the old and new new world versions of it as well. That's a good point though, yeah. Um all right. So the the problem I've got here is some of these areas while I can stretch them out they might they might work better if they're not stretched out. So I think this next screen here is probably fine to stretch out. Uh as long as I keep the doors on one side I think. So as long as the doors are on this side it's probably fine and the ladder on this side. Um so let's let's map that out. But I think like this bit here, the whole point of this area as well is that it's quite an intricate, like small and intricate, lots of lots of timed jumps and stuff around these, and then this this hidden um, path back up here as well, which is not that easy to find. So uh, uh, I think yeah, I think Finney did have the map in freeze at one point. Um. I think so. I can't remember. I can't remember. I definitely sent it to him. Um, but I sent it to him more as kind of background stuff in case he wanted some background like art to, to dot around. Because it makes fairly decent background. Uh, like faded out and put in the background makes a quite decent background piece. Okay. Uh right, so this is this is the base, right? So let's let's work out the path. So So there is a door and there's a drop here. Okay. Okay, there's no reason to not kind of have this kind of extend out a little bit it's fine that that goes in there um in fact if we were to have something like that there for instance i mean not not that actual one but like that then we could, we could actually have this extend quite nicely um because you're not going to be able to jump up there you're only going to be able to jump down here so this is where the doors need to be there's a green door and a, a blue door uh the green door Actually, I want that to be a bit higher because I want that to be a bit thicker like that. There you go. Um, 
I want the doors to be on this side, so I'm going to keep that like that. Extend that out. That. I mean, the doors are obviously going to have to be changed to have the other tile type in the this uh, this tile type in. So that's fine. So for now, I'm just going to put any old door there. It doesn't really matter as long as the color's correct. Uh, and a blue door goes here like that. So the blue exits into this area here, uh, which ends up coming back into the... Actually, does it come into the bottom? Yeah, it does come into the bottom here. So you can kind of get... If you go through there, you can kind of get back up this way. Um... Okay, so then down here, it's just tricky to, to to spread this out and keep the same kind of feel to the map. That's that's the hard bit here. Well, I mean that we can just kind of pad out like a bit of a cave like that or something. Uh, then this can be. Wait, can we jump three high? I don't think we can jump three high, can we? Hang on, is there any place where we need to jump that high? Not as it's two. Two is the height that we jump. Unless we're going onto a new screen, then we can jump three. Makes no sense, but whatever. Okay, yeah, that'll that'll work. I think if I just put some crap here like this. Now, again, this is all very much placeholder stuff um, in terms of the kind of layout of the bricks, uh, layout of the rocks, even. But the the actual bricks that will get used will be different. Oops. Okay, so that would be that. Then there would be a ladder here. So I'll use the ones to write bricks. Yep. That runs down like that. That's our way back up there. And there's no key, but there is a terminal here. Okay, that makes that section equal this section, kind of. Uh, I'm going to change this to these. Uh, uh, what's the oh New Zealand story for ST has has the and the end? Huh? All right, let me let me find that. New Zealand story, yeah? Oh, that's on the ZX. Oh. <laughs> ST, yeah. Cool, thank you. Damn it, I thought I'd caught all those in the in the initial run. Yeah, all right. Apologies if you missed out on points there. <laughs> Typo City, yeah, I, I was really confused by what you said at first. Okay, so the reason I'm putting these in is because it makes it easy to match. It, well, it matches the, uh, the original design, so it looks kind of good laid out. I'm going to make it merge into the back a little bit like that. And then have this uh, piece like 
fit that one in there. Yeah, uh, I feel like that needs to be more. Ah, there we go. That that needs to move that door back a bit. Okay, it doesn't matter that it's the wrong bricks. That will be changed. Uh, Okay, that's good. So we have a blue door, a green door. So basically when you get to this point here, you have no keys again. You're at a point now where you need to get keys again, or you've used all your keys at this point. So the first thing you need to do is you need to find, um, well, one of either color. And the first one you find is actually this way. You, you come this way and find one over here. So I might actually do this screen next. Um, so you go across these spikes here and get this green key, which opens this door down here. Um, now this has a waterfall, which falls through the levels. So the idea being that if you fall through here, you land on this platform or down in this area here, you die if you land in this water. But so I think this could be one, this could be two. So this could be three screens rather than two, I think. So let's work on that a little bit. So that would be, um, and I think this is probably going to be the last last bit I do for tonight. So that would be something like this with some water at the bottom, uh, but with a waterfall coming down into it. This is a death point. If you if you land in this, you die. However, you can. This waterfall comes all the way from this top of this screen up here. So there is a fall through point here. You can see there. So I'm going to do that up here as well. Uh, actually, that doesn't have pattern on it there, but I'm going to I'm going to keep it on there. Right, there you go. So just so we know that that's part of this bit up here. Um, so I'm going to spread this out over three screens. So this screen Originally, I'd intended this screen to work a bit differently than it actually does. I'd intended this screen to be uh, a kind of trap, really, uh, in that you had to jump and then switch in midair to land on on this uh, piece here. But actually, it turns out you can actually just jump straight over to there. Uh, so that was kind of the idea of that. So I might have a go at seeing if I can do that here, make that work. So you can only jump three and a half squares or so so if i put this at four squares let me get the top of this Hang on, let's let's lay the lay the foundations first okay so this is this bit here uh, and then over here we just have a key okay so how this is laid out really doesn't matter the idea is it's a dead end with a key in it uh, so we'll come back to that in a minute so basically if you try and jump forward normally you would be trying to jump onto this and you shouldn't be able to reach this piece so what i did was i created this uh, it be shit i created a weird thing with that one Where's that being used? I feel like that I feel like I put that in the wrong place somewhere, damn it. Let's see it being used though. This is where testing really needs to be done a lot. So let's use that one there. 
Okay, so what it would be... No, see, so you'd be able to jump onto that. This is this is the tricky thing. I don't think that's going to work, is it? Um, let's put that there. All right, let's get the spikes in the bottom. Hang on, let's just let's put the spikes in. Uh, Okay. And the point being that you can then, once you're over this side, you can jump back over to that quite easily. It's just so tight for room in this, it's ridiculous. So this is this is the bit I'm I'm bothered about is can I easily jump onto this? I don't think I can. What I want to try and do is create a situation where you have to um you have to do a, a kind of switch in midair to get this to work properly. So this is only visible in in uh in new mode. But you should only be able to reach it in old mode. So I think it's that that I need to do. And I might need to raise it up a little bit. Let me raise it up by one. Which makes this kind of weird, but... That's fine, though, because you, you fit just about in there. So, all right, let's... Hang on, how easy is it to get to this? See, that jump looks too far now. Uh, I'm going to have to try this jump out. This might need shortening a little bit. Let's give it a try. Man, this is, this is so tricky to get this right. Really, really tricky to get this right. Uh, anyone using Microsoft Edge? No, Oops, no, no. Uh, I guess it's not really what those tile editors. Are. Yeah, it's my it's my own tile editor. Oh shit! Why has it put me there? Why has it put me there? Oh, because oh shit! Okay, I need to put the screen number back in because I have no idea where I am now. Uh, let's do that one. Not that one. This one. There we go. Thing is, is as the map grows inside, the numbers change for the screen. So this is now screen forty-four. Which means this is 45, which means 46 is where I need to start. Okay. I think I've got a limit of 128 screens, and then I have to start using other. Yeah, I think, I think, I hope it's 120 and not 64. I know it's a boundary like that. It might actually be 64. Fuck. Okay. So when I reach that, I'm probably going to have to start using a second bank to, to put screens into, which means I'm going to have to change the the the, uh, the screen load code. But it does mean if I get to that point, that I can start adding tons and tons of extra extra levels in. So um, potentially it could be, could, could be cool. Although it's taken me a long time to do this. Okay. So this jump over here, I 
I should be able to just jump that. Which I can in that mode. Okay, so... So this is a problem because it means I can't get back to here where the where the power thing is. That's the power you're supposed to use. So if I'm here and I use all my power, I now can't get back over there. Although I can use this one, so but I don't like that. I want to I want to change that. So I'm just going to change that quickly uh, to add another. in like that I'm gonna shorten this a little bit like so there you go just to make that a bit friendlier to jump over um okay which means I actually do need more power okay There's no way on earth I'm making that jump. Yeah. So that need that needs shortening. Five is too far. Okay. So it just needs to be a slightly thinner waterfall. Uh actually I'm gonna do it on I'm gonna do it on this side. Makes more sense, I think, to to do it on that side. I'm gonna call it a night in a minute though. It's, it's been chaotic. <laughs> We're getting there, getting there slowly. <sighs> Next time I pick a platform that isn't Commodore, tell me to pick one that has a screen size that fucking makes sense. <laughs> um because this is this is yeah, I mean <laughs> there you go, SP's mentioned in the actually to be fair the, the the commodore is the one that is a bit weird uh i mean the the only other platform i do want to look at next is the uh the twin famicom i want to do some on the nes um and to be honest that's the same it's a similar similar square screen so uh but there is a bit more room so uh, okay so i'm just going to test this area out and then when i'm when i'm done with this we'll uh call it a night um i'm not sure how you would get back from here actually this is this is all wrong this isn't going to work because you can't get back Yeah, this this screen isn't going to work the way I want it to. All right, do you know what? I'm going to leave it for now because I think I'm getting um, I think I'm getting tired. Um, I'm going to have a think about some of these uh some of these screens, and I'm gonna I'm gonna read up about how to get rid of that white thing. There might be something sneaky to do. Uh, so uh, so you said eighty. Yeah, yeah, MSX is said eighty. Uh, I. MSX is one of the more interesting uh, machines. Uh, the MSX and the Amstrad, both machines that kind of appeal to me. Um, but I, I can't... Yeah, I'll wait for the quiz to finish. I can't bring myself to do another machine set. And I realise that yet is going to be a lot easier um, uh, than this kind of weird hybrid thing. But I, I, I just can't do it. I can't do it. Mega sixty five is where my heart is at, and if I was to do uh, a different um, instruction set, I'd probably do something weird like the uh, the TI ninety nine four A and do do whatever I forget the name of the chip that's in that thing, but um, something with a weird um, weird stuff. This is shit eighty. Yeah, this is not this is not a good version of Z eighty at all. Uh, and I, I'm saying that from the point of view of never do, having done Z eighty until I did this. So. I mean, it's been, I don't know how long I've been doing this. I mean, this must be closing in on a year now as well, but um, I knew no Z80 at all when I started this, so. And this has just made me hate it, so. 
What is that? Car showroom. What the hell is that game? Yeah, I have no idea. What is that muscle car game? That doesn't doesn't look familiar at all. So it's gonna be something stupid, isn't it? Hot Wheels, fucking hell, of course. Okay, but let's we're doing pretty good. This is uh this has grown in size quite a lot. The map is freaking huge now, actually. To to the point where it's actually slow to scroll around in it now. But thankfully it speeds up when you zoom in. <laughs> so let me save that. Uh, and I'll wait for the race to finish. Now I'll go and find someone to I'll see if I can find someone now, actually. Let's have a look. Uh, chalk is on. Worm juice is on. What's worm juice doing, actually? So he's playing something around. Let's see what chalk's played. Chalky's oh, we're gonna go and raid Chalky. It looks like he's playing Final Fantasy VII by the looks of things. Oh, it's one of them. I think it's seven. I can never remember. I think it is seven actually. Yes, I like that game. Well done, Mayhem. God, I haven't seen this for years. Is this a? Re it looks like a remake of it as well. Maybe this, or oh, unless that's just his stream stuff. I don't know. I'm not sure. All right, let's go and let's go and raid him then. Um, thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for coming along tonight. We will pick this up again next week. Uh, we'll be back on Checkanoid on Thursday. Um, I did do a little bit of work to get the uh, the laser fixed uh, this week, just a tiny little bit because it was bugging me that the multiplexer was broken, but it wasn't. It was the padding in the multiplexer just needed adjusting. Uh, so we'll we'll look at that. Uh, on Thursday, I'm not sure where what we're going to do on it, but we'll do something on it. Uh, and I shall see you all then. Uh, cheerio, thanks for joining, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye.